Um, Treasurer, doesn't federal government backing of Brisbane's Olympics confiscate 30 billion off North and Central Queensland's coal and copper miners, cane and cattle farmers, giving it to the IOC, whose Paris opening ceremony was, I quote, an orgiastic pagan ritual denigrating Christianity? Treasurer, didn't Christians abolish slavery, create from a brutal imperium, Pax Romana, from the dark ages, the Renaissance. Didn't communism murder 78 million people? Didn't Christian Gorbachev, the Pope, and Charlie Wilson's Christians abolish communism? Didn't pagan rituals sacrifice children to the tree and crocodile gods? Do such rituals still live on, Mr Treasurer? There are a number of elements of that question that I, I don't think went to the Treasurer's responsibili responsibilities, particularly the... <laughs> no, I, I, no, 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 I, I heard every word. I heard every word. Absolutely. Absolutely heard every word. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It's certainly more coherent than anything the Shadow Treasurer has said in recent times, Mr Speaker. Uh, I think the House will forgive me for steering well clear of the pagan rituals and the tree gods. Uh, and I will spare the House. I'll spare the House a gallop through a couple of thousand years of human history. Yeah, people are entitled to their sexual proclivities. Yeah, I mean, let there be a thousand losses, burdens, for a top of it, But I ain't spending any time on it because, in the meantime, every three months, a person is torn to pieces by a crocodile in North Queensland.